we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this cool pad cool uh, six uh, play and guys this is a review unit so it was opened earlier and here it says the pricing is uh, 17,999 but that's not correct this device is going to be sold in India via Amazon it will be sold for 14,999 from September 4th onwards and in terms of specs uh, uh, the specs are good but let's uh, have a look at the device as you can see it's looks like it's already open as i told you it's a review unit so here is the device itself and this has a metallic body we'll come back to this later and uh, let's see what else do we get we get a sim ejector tool with this one and uh, there should be some booklets but it's not there in this and uh, what else uh, we also get a screen guard and uh, we get a power adapter uh, surprisingly it's not a fast charger it's 5 volts at 2 amps it says and we also get a USB cable and this one is having a USB type C cable. So let me keep these things to the side and let's look at the handset itself. So this is the CoolPad uh, uh, Cool 6 uh, Play as you can uh, see. And uh, immediately uh, I would say it resembles the Leco LE2 from the front as you can see. And uh, this one is having that dual camera setup. Looks like everyone is jumping into this dual camera setup and uh, this has a 5.5 inch screen 1080p screen um, I, that's ips uh, but uh, first let's see uh, we have a 3.5 mm headphone jack here and uh, this is metallic but this is plastic this top and bottom for antenna reception the body is metal uh, volume rocker power on off button uh, went for the speaker we'll have to check if both are speaker or only one speaker we have usb type c uh, port and uh, here we have the sim slot i do note that it's a dual sim but you cannot add any uh, sd card to the same the storage is what you get and this comes with 64 gb of internal storage we also have the fingerprint scanner on the back and uh, let me actually um, power this on i have already uh, set this up and uh, but let me uh, just unlock this it has the fingerprint scanner like this but let me actually show you the boot up animation let me reboot this as you can see it says cool pad and give me haptic feedback and by the time it actually boots up let me give you a configuration overview this cool pad cool 6 play is powered by the snapdragon 653 chipset which is an octa core processor divided in two quad cores it has the Adreno 510 GPU. It comes with 6 gigabytes of RAM, 64 GB of internal storage. It has a 1080p 5.5 inch IPS LCD screen. It comes with dual 13 megapixel rear facing camera with f2.0 lens and an 8 megapixel front facing camera. It also has the fingerprint scanner and a 4060 milliamp hour battery. So I've just restarted this device and I've also added a Geo SIM and yes, it works with Geo. Uh, it has Volte support as you can see. And this comes with its own UI. Uh, for example, it's like many of the other Chinese vendors. We don't have an app tray, so all the apps will be residing over here. And some publications were saying that this has IR blaster, but no, this one does not have the IR blaster. And there is no IR blaster apps in this tool section as you can see. Uh, so that's what we get and uh, this comes with six gigabytes of ram and uh, so these are the quick toggles that you get it's a custom ui that they're using as you can see you have quite a few toggles and uh, we also have auto brightness sensor i'm not keeping it at very high brightness uh, right now as you can see uh, so let's look at under the hood what else do we get and if you go to about the device, the good thing is that it comes with Android version 7.1.1. That is no good. Let's just go back. So this is the multitasking. And the buttons are here, back, home, and this is for the multitasking. And they glow whenever you touch them, as you can see. Let's look at the storage. How much do we get out of that 64 GB? Because we can't add a micro SD card. Uh, this is, I think, so regarding RAM. Out of that 6 uh, gigabytes of RAM, uh, free that we get is 4.6 uh, gigabytes. And let's look at the storage. So it says out of that 64 GB, about uh, 13 uh, GB is already, 13.6 is already used. So roughly you're going to get 51 GB of uh, storage with this uh, device. So that's what you get with this one. We also have some advanced setting. For example, it can show you your net speed over here and other stuff. And let's just go back. And uh, this is the multitasking tray that you're going to get. Uh, this is very similar. And let's kill everything and uh, 
so yeah ram uh, shouldn't be an issue with this one as it's having six gigabytes of ram uh, but the thing is that as this is running the snapdragon uh, 653 chipset i would have to check how it performs in gaming in general gaming it should do good because it has the adreno uh, 510 gpu but i have to see if this handset heats up on or not because the snapdragon 652 when you push it can heat up a little bit so i have to test that and the biggest thing about this uh, phone apart from that six gigabytes of ram and 64 gb of internal storage is this dual camera setup uh, it's both the cameras are 13 megapixel uh, shooter let's fire up this camera interface so uh, again this is the ui that we uh, found on earlier cool pad devices also so you have that tap to focus option is there and you just press this to take the snap let me actually bring a uh, object nearby and uh, you have this option uh, as you can see if you enable this uh, you can enable that depth of focus options and play with the aperture to get that bokeh effect you can increase that or uh, decrease that for example let me try so it takes a little bit of time and you can get that bokeh kind of uh, effect as you can see uh, this is in focus and uh, this is sort of that out of focus and for video if you tap here you can change the resolution 720p so yes 4k video support is there 1080p and 720p um, i'll have to check how is the stabilization in 4k because many devices don't have good stabilization in 4k but uh, here are some of the sample shots that i have taken around my office with this uh, cool pad device so that you can get a brief idea regarding the camera performance as you can see in outdoor natural lighting, the pictures come out to be actually really good with good sharpness and even the color reproduction is actually very good. But when we move to indoor lighting conditions, you have to be careful because it does not have any optical image stabilization. So if you're not careful, it's prone to shakes. Uh, but even in indoor lighting conditions, as you can see, the pictures come out to be good yes it's too early to judge the camera so i will be testing the camera a lot more so guys that's it for now for this uh, quick unboxing and first look uh, regarding this cool pad uh, cool 6 device if you have any other specific questions regarding this device do post your questions in the youtube comment section below and i'll try to include them in my review and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video